Welcome back to CBS News Detroit at 6. Sports anchor Ronnie Duncan is here, and you have an interesting feature story about a guy overcoming odds not only in the ring, but outside the ring. Most definitely, and this is one of those feel-good stories. <laughs> when the late and great Emmanuel Stewart calls your child prodigy and a future star of boxing, that goes a long way. Boxers come into the sport with the vision of becoming a champion. I spoke with a young man who's gaining new fans toward his dreams every day. When Gaith Muhammad enters Big Mo's in Dearborn, it's like a rock star came in. You excited? Everybody knows him. And it's not only for the love of the food, it's for the love of Gaith. I'm special. I'm telling you, they're going to find out June 3rd at Little Caesars Arena. But in the boxing ring, that's where he's with the School of Hard Knocks. And on June 3rd, he'll be on the fight car with Clarissa Shields, and he's excited about it. I'm just ready. I'm just ready for what's coming because I know I'm made for this. I went through health issues, you know, and now I'm doing a lot better. And all praise to God, man. At 9 0 with three knockouts, this young man was a prodigy. As a matter of fact, Emmanuel Stewart was the person who said he was that. Jonathan Banks, his trainer, says he's special. And on June 3rd, all of Detroit will find out why. I think he was like six or seven years old. Emmanuel started bringing him around. Emmanuel introduced me to, to this kid. He said, ah, oh, John, this personality is something else. What do you want to hear, Gabe, when you are entering that ring in Little Caesars Arena? You've got visions. I mean, if you're a kid five, you know, I mean, five years old came in here, I'm the man, I can do this, I can do that. I'm sure you got visions right now in your mind what you want to hear come Saturday night, June 3rd. Knockout, that's number one. Is I'm coming for that knockout. And number two is seeing all my supporters and fans, you know, gay, 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 all of them screaming. And I'm getting goosebumps as I'm speaking right now, you know. I got a good fan population and man, all praise to God with everything and all, all, all the like support and everything is all praise to God. Without God, I am nothing. Yeah, I love that kid. You know what, man, you're something and something special. Now, if you get on board the Tigers playoff pursuit bus right now, chances are you can get your seat in the front row. The Detroit Tigers are in second place in the American League Central, even though they are two games under 500 at 23 and 25. Anything is possible. Yeah, you're going to be a witness. I'm going to be a lever. The lever, that is. Tigers beat the Chicago White Sox last night, 72. No, it's not Erica Badu, but it's Akil Badu. You got to call it home. Oh, and then we're three on in the fourth. I'm talking Javier Baez. Man, he came through with a big single, and a bunch of runs would come through. 7-2 was the final Motown wins. Now, Joey Wentz is on the mound for Motown tonight. I'm talking the Tigers. They remain two games in back of the Minnesota Twins for first place in the American League Central. And they're going to be sporting some Memorial Day patches this weekend, yeah. along with the Meyer patches that they now have with the sponsorship. The jersey is going to be loaded up. Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a good time. You know what? 3, awesome. 2, 1, I'm done. Now it's time to see what's next on the CBS Evening News, filling in for Nora O'Donnell, my oldest daughter, Jerika Duncan. So, Jerika, what can we expect tonight? Good evening, Dad. I mean, Ronnie. Is it okay to call you Ronnie? Coming up after CBS News Detroit, we go on the road to Harvard Law School, where a new graduate is honoring a support staff that often goes unnoticed. That's tonight on the CBS Evening News.